Welcome to today's Serokan Saturday. Continuing Bunkai now for Pinyan Shodan, we're at the palm pressing block and nukite, spear hand or finger poke. Um, technically, it's Yonbon nukite, four finger poke, because we could also have the Nihon nukite or Ipon nukite, but this is a full four finger. Again, if your fingers are not conditioned for this, um, change it to a punch, a vertical or tapezgi, vertical punch is fine. Do a full twisting punch, could be any strike technically, but the spear you'll see is particularly effective to a particular target that we're going to look at. In the kata, obviously from here, we're stepping forward into it, but again, the direction of my step and the stance that I elect to use is contingent on the initial attack of my opponent. That's the only part of a combat that I can't control, is how he starts. Once we're engaged, depending on my skill level, I can then exert a certain level of control over where he's going to be next. If I can get a punch to the groin, I pretty much know what his body's gonna do from there and I can anticipate. If I can get a grab, I can feel how his body's responding, then feel where his weight distribution is. So the only part that I really can't control is what that initial attack is going to be. So step, stepping forward or stepping backwards or changing whether I'm in a right or a left front stance will be a variable depending on my opponent. James, I guess much. We haven't seen James for a minute, so he volunteered for tonight's enjoyment. So we're palm pressing. Now, I'm gonna use this, we can use it against a punch, so let's just go always be, hey, I can come over the top and straight press this down and spear. But if it's a kick, particularly a front kick, the, his leg is going to be rising up. So the front kick. if I push down and I hit here, that's a lot of pressure up and I'm going to sprain my wrist. So rather than hitting with my palm on a punch, or if I'm taking, for example, a wood grappling and I bring his head down, then yes. And from here, I'll reverse it. If I bring his head down, I'm actually going to be going for a neck crank, possibly, or a forearm upward strike. But the technique that we're going to do on the front kick, rather than hit down with my, and risk breaking my fingers or hitting in the palm and risk hyper, hyper bending my wrist, I'm going to hit with the back side of my wrist here and sort of clear. So you see, kind of see, I don't know what a good angle is here, but I'm going to be coming not straight down, but in and around hitting outward with the back side for the inside of my wrist. So as he kicks, and he starts, I'm going to kick this way, opening him up. A little lunge stance for adjustment, and here I can strike, if my fingers are strong, I can strike center mass. Timing matters. If he's braced, tighten up your gut, not much is gonna happen. But if I catch him right off the kick and he's landing, and he hasn't braced, now I can get a pretty good strike on him with my new today. But, my preferred target is the crease right here in the groin because there's a plexus there that will unbalance it. And you'll see why as I expand the technique a little bit. So uh, let's just say, so you can kind of see from a better angle. I'm going to hit not straight pressing this way, but through. So in the kata, sort of a sweeping motion. Drawing in. Striking here, we can strike up if the target's available, but I like into the crease because I'm now also going to redo this move as a push takedown, from which point we could come up, finish however you like. Okay? Now, regarding the direction of the step, if, if I really want to do the takedown, instead of stepping back with my left foot, I'm going to step forward, as we do in the kata, with my right foot. So now I'm already closer, and it's easier to get to that position where I'm pushing into the floor. Okay? But again, the basic technique for the kick, and again, this could be, maybe he's taking a swing at me like a baseball bat in my ribs. Right? Could be here, stepping in. But on a kick with a nice sweeping lock, the basic technique is back with the left, in with the right. Right here. 
the Apostle of Faith. We have those on us. So those are your main options that I teach. The principal one is block and spear by stepping back from the opponent. You can, again, do it stepping in. I could change this strike from Chudan Nukipe to a glancing palm to the face after I blocked his punch or kick, striking him across the face this way with my palm. And again, the neck crank, the leg takedown, etc. So that's our bunkai for this movement in Pian Shodan, the required one as I teach it for students, plus some variations. Thanks again for joining. Comment, click, like, subscribe, ring the bell, tell a joke, ask a question, share with friends, spread the good word, and until next week, as always, keep practicing.